Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Lexi and I'm starting this new series on my channel that I'm gonna upload once a month The word that needs to be in the title is weird. It's an acronym It stands for what I've been wearing what I've been eating what I've been impressed by what I've been reading what I've been downloading and what I have been Doing and I don't know that I'm gonna call it what's weird things. I find weird. Do you have any ideas? Please leave them in the comments. Let's get started. Why don't we first thing is what I've been wearing and I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little hesitant about this and kind of like nervous to show you. The thing I'm going to show you, what I've been wearing are these boots and they're so amazing. They're from Theory, they're beautiful, they're the best quality boots I have ever owned in my entire life. They go with everything. I literally picture these boots in my wardrobe for the next 30 plus years. The only thing is that they're they're real suede and it's been an internal conflict because I've been eating a vegan diet for over a year. I became vegan for the environment. That was my initial reasons for doing this. There's just a lot of waste in the amount of things that we all have and I think there is strength in buying just single quality products over quantity. Is this okay? I don't know. I'm still trying to develop my morals and figure out my moral compass. Like, what do you guys think? Like, do you think it's fucked that I have these and I'm showing them? Or do you understand? And also, if you know any alternatives for, like, really high-quality vegan leather, I just want to make it clear that, like, I'm on this sort of journey with everyone. I, I don't know exactly what I think about everything. The second one, so much more lighthearted. What I've been eating. Frozen cherries. These are from Trader Joe's and they're the pitted dark sweet cherries. Oh Look what I've done. It looks like blood. Oh, this is so awful. Oh This is so awful. The show must go on. Oh my goodness I don't know what possessed me to buy them the first time, but they were sitting out a little bit too long And so I ate one and I was like This is the juiciest thing I've ever had. I'll eat them plain Sometimes I'll put them in a bowl and pour some almond milk on top and just eat it with a spoon. It's so good. Now for eye. Eye is what I've been impressed with. I don't know how to explain it because I think some of you are going to be like, oh yeah, like I, I know the spiritual experiences. I'm very familiar with what you're talking about. And then some of you guys are just going to be like, what? Like you're crazy. Like that didn't actually happen. But it did. It did. And I don't care if you believe it or not. It absolutely did and it was crazy. I'm going to back up. So, I made a new friend this month. Her name is Kate Thorson. We met up again, maybe like earlier this week, and she decked me out in her jewelry line called Uma K, and it's beautiful. It's what I'm wearing on my hands right now. They're sound waves, and it represents that things that we can't see do exist. This is an infinity sign overlapping another infinity sign for um, high manifestation connected to to other same symbols with sapphires on it. I have my third eye right here and when she put it on me, my body started getting lighter and heavier and lighter and heavier and then it sped up and I started vibrating. My body was vibrating. I was like, Kate, my body, it, it feels heavier and lighter. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is, this is weird. It felt like I was having some sort of connection. I didn't understand it. It was incredible. Genuinely, check out her stuff. It's a little bit, um, on the pricier end, but if you guys buy anything, I don't know if there's a place to check out to be like, hey, we heard about you from Lexi. Like, that would make my heart really warm. Now we're on to R, which is what I've been reading. The life-changing magic of tidying up, and I read this in December. However, I've been implementing it into my life the past two months. I learned a new way of folding, and next thing you know, you can see so many more articles of clothing when you open up a drawer. This book also taught me to sort by category rather than location. Don't decide, okay, I'm just gonna clean out this set of drawers and say, okay, I'm gonna go through t-shirts today. I'm gonna go through every single t-shirt I own. I'm gonna put them all on the floor, all on my bed, and then before I put anything away, I'm gonna hold each t-shirt up and say, does this spark joy? Another method that was taught was to imagine your dream home or your dream life and hold up each article of clothing or paper or miscellaneous item and say, would this go in my dream home? Like, does this belong in my dream life? And if it doesn't, get rid of it. There's a lot of really good information in here and it's an easy read. All right, for downloading, the app that you should download this month is Wonderlist. Combination of Wonderlust, Bucket List. Essentially, the way I use it, and there could be more components to the app, but the way I use it is an organized, categorized, 
form of notes. Anytime I'm in conversation, I used to go to notes and just write down the word or write a few, you know, blurbs about whatever I was thinking in my head and I would have it, but then I would never know how to find it. All of my lists on this app are broken into categories like movies to watch, books to read, crafts to make, things to search online, music to listen to, games to play, and inventions. You know me, I just told you about the life-changing magic of tidying up, like I'm trying to organize my life and this is another form of it. The final D is doing. What have I been doing? Claudia, Alex, Drew, and I, and I will link all their channels down below. All have great videos. Highly recommend every single one of them. <laughs> Me, bragging about my friends, but seriously, like, they're great. We went to San Francisco, and the greenery there was beautiful. I met a ton of viewers. I got my septum pierced, I vlogged, I had my first sushi burrito, and I learned that traveling with just a carry-on is the way to do it. It's so much faster and more efficient. It makes me want to take weekend trips all the time. Whew. And I'm going to include a little bit of vlog footage right here. I had so much fun. Oh, it was such a great trip. And I'm going to Colorado tomorrow morning. So more traveling to come. And my new uploading schedule is Tuesdays and Fridays. Definitely for this month. And look forward to my first video of my life without spending any money. Gonna be crazy. I don't know what to expect. Peace out, young scouts. I'm never gonna end a video like that again. Please.